a short play entitled What You Got Here? <laughs> We're we celebrating the centenary of his birth um, and uh, I felt very strongly that we have to do something in England to commemorate that event. Set at the recycling centre. We found him joyous, full of uh, a mischievous humour. Give me sugar! Give me sugar! But, uh, you know, fantastically brilliant, serious writer as well. I want a child. I'm a bit late. I had a, a 40 year break. <laughs> I couldn't. I, I didn't have the time. The things that he was writing about in the 1960s are the things that people are realising are crucial now. So Rzevich looked beyond the immediate aggression and the atrocities of the war that he had lived through and looked around and looked ahead. But the numbers of people are steadily growing. There's no more room on the seats. People sit shoulder to shoulder more and more. Old people, women. I think this is like the connoisseur's chocolate box of Rushevich. Mm. It's, it's new, new flavours and excerpts from old pieces. We're trying to at least give you a sense of the shape of Rushevich and his imagination. It's called Fragments because we've chosen pieces from a couple of his volumes of work and uh, including a couple of short plays. And then the second half really is taken from a work called Mother Departs, which is probably the most personal and, and in a way most moving and difficult piece of work. As I write these words, my mother's eyes rest on me. What's troubling you, my darling? You know, Mummy, I can only tell it to you in my old age. And I can tell you now because I'm already older than you. Back in 1990, I met him at a conference at Warwick University. We got introduced and after a couple of days, uh, Ruzevich actually um, asked me and my uh, current husband, Tony Howard, whether we would actually uh, start translating some of his work. British people don't like to respond to foreign work full stop. Um, that, that's a, a basic problem that anyone who works with translation um, in this country um, always confronts. Um, however, teaching at Warwick University, which has been my centre for a long time, um, it's been remarkable how many young um, uh, would-be academics, uh, would-be creative people, whether it's writers or theatre directors or actors, how many of them um, are in love with Rzevich. It's work in progress. It's never come to an end. Uh, we did not um, translate a huge volume, but we actually did sort of three books, including Mother Departs. A bad metaphor is immortal. <laughs> <laughs> the great thing about the poet Rzevich um, is his incredible tightness of focus. Um, he strips things down to the bare minimum. A shoddy poet who has died is a shoddy dead poet. <laughs> Somehow those tiny fragments, those tiny specks of meaning um, give you a universe. Is this simplicity of his language presenting a challenge? His writing is, is difficult. It's because, as Miłosz found out about him very early on, He's the man who feels the pain of existence so acutely. In the 1990s, when I directed the British premieres of two of his plays, I grew to appreciate his greatness as a dramatist of our times. An insightful critic of the dangers lurking in society. Fantastically emotional without being sentimental. No. Just some great writing for for actors to perform. Universal, absolutely yeah, universal. universal. For upcoming events, please visit our website and follow us on social media.